Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm in the IoT booth. And HPE announced a couple of new chassis for uh, IoT solutions. Can you talk about those and, and what makes them different? Yeah, sure. So we announced the EdgeLine systems for high-end compute at the edge. So that's the EL1000 and the EL4000. The EL1000 holds uh, one of our Moonshot uh, Perliant cartridges. Um, we have the M510 cartridge and also the M710X cartridge. The EL4000 holds four of those cartridges, the same types of cartridges. Uh, the, M the M510 cartridge hosts up to 16 cores of Broadwell DE processing, a, a max of 128 gigabytes of memory, um, 10 gigabit networking, a, a max of uh, three terabytes of storage, local M.2 uh, storage, and the M710X has embedded high-end graphics with the uh, Iris Pro graphics. And so this kind of combines three key elements of technology that hadn't been combined in a, in a system before, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. So we've, we've had with our Moonshot systems very low power, uh, very high performing compute systems in our Moonshot cartridges. We have also uh, included ILO on board for the latest two cartridges and we've converged that into these other chassis with data ingest so that we can have deep compute and data ingest at the same time in the same converged system. And that's what we've done for the first time uh, in history with the IoT converged platform. So this is all great, it's a, a neat compute box, but what is sort of a practical application for this? Like, how would somebody use this for their business? Sure, so uh, in the industrial IoT space, we have uh, many uh, multi-million dollar systems. You know, you have trains, subways, taxi cabs, airplanes. You may have industrial pumps, uh, what's, what's behind us here. So you have all of these uh, very high dollar uh, equipment items that need to be monitored. Um, Companies can have uh, can maintain those in many different ways. They can either uh, wait for a failure to occur and then have, pay for many thousands of dollars in uh, lost productivity and downtime. They also could uh, trans offload all of that big analog data that they're collecting to a data center and pay for high uh, bandwidth costs and uh, data duplication, uh, many uh, other problems that arise with that. They also could, um, on a you know a cycle, refurbish all of their systems hoping that they're finding the right problems to fix and replacing seals and gaskets and everything else that they need uh, on a periodic basis, but that's still a guess and they're wasting productivity there. Or they can have predictive maintenance and machine learning. So that's really what we're doing with this uh, deep data ingest and deep uh, edge computing converged into one box is we're able to provide the software applications with an IoT to have machine learning uh, in real time data ingest and um, training and you know anomaly detection everything that you need in a business to make your processes more efficient and to have a better uh, industrial IoT um, solution. And so this is something that would actually sit near like so that there's a pump behind us that's an example this would actually sit somewhere fairly close to where that pump is in a in a smaller facility than maybe where the uh, oil company actually has their data warehouse. Yeah, so for instance, you, you might have a refinery or an oil rig or whatever is, uh, you know, the data is coming off of, and then there would be a, con a control closet somewhere close by. And so these systems are built to um, uh, tolerate higher temperatures, also dustier environments, so they're, they're built to withstand some of those um, extreme environments that are not really conducive to uh, data center servers. So we can provide this high-end compute at the edge where the data is being ingested. And I, and I think you said earlier that um, this, the, the CPU component at least runs at 100, under 100 watts. Yes, yes. So it, it depends on the cartridge on how many, how many watts it pulls. But the uh, latest M510 with 16 cores of processing uh, power, Broadwell DE, it runs in uh, just under about 100 watts. And so, so that seems like it would also lend itself to this kind of edge scenario where you may not have the, the level of, of power availability that you would typically set up for a traditional data center. Oh yeah, I mean data centers you know, are built for providing massive amounts of power, massive amounts of compute. And in these systems, you know, we've been very successful with the Moonshot line to have low power, uh, high performing compute products uh, that are very efficient. Um, you know, they, they, they're purpose built for all of these workloads to be able to uh, easily move into the edge.